How's it going out there? Much better than when I first came out here. Yeah. Good to see you guys are now awake. Okay, so we're going to present the gold cords. Gold cords are given to students who have maintained an outstanding GPA throughout their high school years. A gold cord is given to each student who has a cumulative G GPA of 3.5 or higher. The gold cord recipients are Christopher Aguiano. Aguiano. Randy Brenner. Daniel Carpenter. Sean Michael Castillo. Nicholas Chung. Grace Engelman. Kendall Lack. Giselle Lopez. Evan Luckett. Kevin Meehan. Kayla Moreno. Connor Moses. Nathan Moses. Thomas Muir. Blanca Ramirez Mendez. Alan Sack. Gabrielle Scudder. <laughs> Chloe Sobolewski. Holland Spidell. Parker Jumplin. <laughs> Kathleen Twilliger. <laughs> Nathan Vaca. and Haley Williams.
It's now time to honor the students who have earned the highest GPAs of all the graduating seniors. Up first, we have our valedictorian, Mr. Sean Michael Castillo. <laughs> it's a funny story. Uh, we discovered last night that we didn't have any uh, valedictorian and salutatorian medals. And, uh, and so we uh, were about to uh, give them soccer medals, and, uh, and we are going to turn them inside out so nobody would be able to see. Uh, and then uh, we remembered that we've got uh, our uh, valedictorians from last year uh, who are in the audience today. And so they have loaned us their uh, valedictorian medals so that we can have uh, proper photos today. So. So this is the world of uh, total transparency that you guys are now going to be living in. Sean Michael, and also thank you for dressing like McCurdy. Appreciate that. <laughs> Wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Sorry, I usually have a problem with that inner voice and external voice. Um, so now it's my honor to introduce our salutatorium, Grace Engelman. Thank you. 
So, like they just said, uh, my name is Grace Engelman, uh, and I'd like to begin by welcoming you all to graduation and thanking you for taking time on your Saturday morning, right after school ended, to be here. I'd also like to thank Dr. McCurdy, Mr. McClendon, and all of the amazing teachers that helped us get where we are right now. Words cannot express how grateful I am for all of the love and support I've received from this incredible group of people. I am where I am today because of the people at this school. We all are to some extent. These last few weeks especially have demonstrated to me the strength of the bonds between parents, teachers, and students. This community has its ups and downs, but we know how and when to put aside our differences for the good of the school. To my senior class, congratulations. We made it. Most of us were born in the year 2000, which means we are the first group of people born in this millennium to come of age. We're the next generation of engineers, doctors, lawyers, mechanics, therapists, entrepreneurs, scientists, teachers, and so much more. If we believe in ourselves, we can pave our future the way we see fit. And the best way to start is by becoming an informed citizen of the world. We've made it through physics, algebra, and history, but now we have the rest of our lives ahead of us to learn. I once took a class where I had to think of five questions to write down every day. It was harder than you'd expect. But what I learned from that class was that asking questions is one of the best ways to learn. That teacher shaped the way I look at the world, the way I approach learning, and reminded me that there are no stupid questions. And that's good, because sometimes I think of some really random questions and can't rest until I know the answer. Sometimes, literally. Last June, I slept over at a friend's house the night before we were supposed to fly to New Orleans. We were trying to go to sleep. It was like midnight, and we had to wake up at 3.45 a.m. or something ridiculous like that. Then a question popped into my head, unrelated to anything that was going on at that moment. I turned to my friend and asked, so all the hair on your body turn gray with old age, or just on your scalp? <laughs> if it does, do all the hairs turn gray at like the same time? It was a random question that didn't affect anything going on at that moment, but I just had to know the answer. So, I pulled out my phone and I looked it up. And it turns out that yes, all body hair will turn gray eventually. Timing depends on you. From what I've read, hair, like skin, gets its pigment from melanin. As the pigment cells in our hair follicles die, we have less melanin in our hair, causing it to turn white or gray. I know all of you were on the edge of your seats waiting to find <laughs> Going back to my original point, asking questions is so important in the learning process. Information isn't going to fall from the sky and wiggle its way into your brain. You have to put in work yourself. So I urge all of you, including the people who aren't like graduating right now, uh, go learn. Learn about anything and everything. If a question pops into your head, Google the answer. We have this incredible technology at our fingertips that gives us access to infinite stores of in, uh, information about any topic we choose. Just don't look it up at the movie theater while you're watching a play. That's kind of rude. In case I haven't said it enough already, this school means the absolute world to me. Here we're students, not numbers. Every teacher knows the first name of every student in each of their classes. Here we're appreciated for what we bring to the table, not judged for what we're lacking. I'm not saying we're perfect. High school can be a harsh and judgmental place, but I've been to other public schools. There's no comparison. To all of my closest friends, you know who you are. Thank you. You've made my high school experience bearable, even when I was literally banging my head against a wall. I love each and every one of you, and I appreciate everything you've done for me. And to everyone else, thank you as well. As cheesy as it sounds, you're all amazing, and the school would not be the same without you. To the teachers, again, thank you. You put up with our sass and our sleepy brains every single day, and you continue to do it with enthusiasm. I have so much respect for all of the work you put into educating us. You have the most important jobs in the world, and you do them so well. To sum up everything I've said, thank you. You've helped me believe in myself enough to follow a path I knew I wanted to take, but I was afraid to. Thank you for all the impact you've made on my life. I'm so excited for the next step, and I am set for the next adventure. <laughs> Anybody else need to
water. I mean, I'm handing out water up here, too. So. You're welcome, Jesse. Okay. So we have some scholarships here that we're going to give out. The scholarships were actually chosen independent of each other by the individuals who actually came up with the, with the scholarships. So I'm going to start with the first one here, and I'm going to read a little bit about it and tell you guys who the recipient is. It's the Lisa Hale Scholarship. The Lisa Hale Scholarship is awarded to a female set student graduating in the current academic year, recognized for academic leadership and achievement potential. A student who exemplifies the excellence sought by all students as they conclude their set journey and apply their unique talents to a life of passion, purpose, and performance, and as an exemplar pursuing STEM education. The first annual Lisa Hale Scholarship goes to Grace Engelman. Thank <laughs> you. 